YouTube, it's time for Inside the Mind of a Silver, where I jump into a competitive game without warming up, and I try and win. Even though I'm not silver anymore, I'm, I'm MG1, but I play like a silver. So we start off banning two maps, which is the new way to do Counter-Strike, and of course I go immediately for the worst two maps, Dust2 and Mirage, mostly because these maps are awful if you're playing solo queue. This one dude wants to ban Overpass and Nuke, which I totally get, but I'd rather play those than Dust. Everybody in the game decides to start describing the world's weirdest avatar with food, water, air, and fire. And then we get to choose the map we play on, which is between Vertigo and Overpass, which is kind of nice. Let's play Overpass. Let's have a good clean match. Can I fluctuate their cheeks? You, you can do whatever your heart desires. So just like every single time you play solo queue and Counter-Strike, I decide to push behind my team, baiting my team. I'm back! He's dead caught. I don't know what's going on with this dude's voice, but uh, it's going to be a good game. This guy gets domed, that guy gets domed, and I get no oh, dome man. because it's quarantine and it would be unsafe to get any. Can you go B? Good question. Apparently not. The magic of solo queue continues as I get to witness one of the greatest baits of all time. Um, incredible. Oh my god. <laughs> but then he ruins it by taking out his knife and running up the stairs. Oh my gosh. But it's fine because ultimately he gets the plant down and we get the money. Nothing like somebody buying an AK in the second round and oh dying god. with it so you get a free gun and then you get to swing, trade your teammate, and feel like, well, maybe you're actually gonna have a good Counter-Strike day after all. I think the real Chad play here is not reloading with 11 bullets and then having nobody check where you were sitting. Nice, not one. Big damage. Big damage. Next round, I take my time and I make sure I'm very quiet when dropping... Back when I was playing Counter-Strike for the first time, the Tech 9 used to be the best pistol. Run and gun all the time, get headshots while sprinting around the map, and I miss using it because now when I use it, shit like this happens, and I'm not sure whether to cry or laugh. Nothing like having your teammates drop one by one and then you ask a question. Was he left? And they just don't answer, so then you gotta kill him anyways. <laughs> then of course, my last teammate dies, and now I have an off, right. but I've gotta go ahead and retake a site with the bomb, and then I get shot in the back by somebody who flanked around long. So it's been going pretty well, thanks for asking. Nothing like a P250 pushing through connector on an eco round, where I see him jiggle peeking, and I get nervous that he saw me, and I shoot, and I miss all my shots, and then I die. Ah, yes, a tale as old as time. Back-to-back -back eco rushes, this time with the Tech 9, because the P250 Two. didn't work for me, even though I just said that the Tech 9 is not a good gun! What I'm about to show you is a series of unfortunate events, because VA7 is actually pretty good, except for this instance. So then, Blue somehow fucks this up, the teammate from the CTs wall bangs the guy who's one shot. Sure, sure, sure. Last one, and then sure. Blue. Last one, sure. Where are you looking? I, I don't think he's playing with the headset on. Six to two, and we are losing badly, which means it's a great time for me to get opt out of heaven. Everyone except for Blue and myself are dead, which means that it's just me v three. And I hear the guy reload pre fire. He's not sitting there. He was sitting outside the wall, and I lose the trade. So you might think, Tucker, you probably win this round, right? Yeah, Blue somehow manages to pull this out of his ass when he- I'm just playing with you. There's no way we were winning that. This guy's cracked out of his fucking mind. There's an old saying, it's, um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I'm trying to figure out what the saying is for when you continuously do things that are broken, like push B, because we have literally not won a single round pushing B yet. But it's okay, Short. because I managed to go and actually do a slightly decent play until somebody pushes through my molly and I fat finger the escape key. Bruh. I actually have a question. How did the T die Jeez, bro, um, when nobody pushed up long? Did you die from long? No. The guy that killed us was bathroom. I, I don't know. But I do get myself a cheeky little 3k here, which that's probably the best spray transfer I've ever had. And I could have gotten a 4k if I was no. better, but I'm not Jordan Nothing Gilbert, and I will never be as good as him. At this point, I'm just baiting my teammates. I feel like that's the best path to success, and it's working out pretty well for me. Thank you very much. That is until I realize it's 1v3, and there's somebody heaven short and pushing me through monster. So what do you do in this situation? Just fucking give up, man. Just give up. This is actually a brilliant five head smoke because it doesn't block literally anything, but it does allow me to kill the guy who pushes my teammate. And now, once again, it's gonna be a 1v3 situation where I am basically left to do this all myself. And I bet you know how this turns out. You might be correct. If you guessed that I managed to clutch it up, you are wrong. Shit, I just spoiled the round. Never mind. There it is.
That might be my favorite random moment in a matchmaking game without dialogue. Uh, the guy following up my 20th Century Fox intro with his own AK and then me getting a kill connector. It's incredible. You know what else is incredible? This gameplay. Look at that. Uh, what? Bro. Bro. No way. <laughs> I, get me out of here. We're better on the counter-terrorist side of things because we actually don't have to do anything like plant a bomb. We just have to defend. And when I say better, I mean there are plays like this that define a game. They're incredible momentum changes. Like when you no smoke ninja, no kit sure in front of no idea. three of them. <laughs> three to four team. We're about to get max load and I am uh, at this point just trying I'm to stay down. afloat. My positivity is not very high, but my ability to get frags is slowly warming up as the game goes on. And I almost pull something sick off here. Almost because, you know, it's impossible for me to get anything going this game. Ah! All right, we got this, boys. Just uh, 12 more consecutive rounds. We'll be good. Nice. You know, this might be the only good nice. thing that happened this whole game. I got to see Thimple hit a nice little no scope while flashed, and then he uh, actually lands the second one, too. Doesn't get a kill, but it's close enough. And it makes Dumpster. me Dumpster. that Dumpster. much happier. But, of course, we can't have nice things. So even though we kill one person, they line up. Ooh. Oh, dude, and he love. doesn't have a kit. <laughs> So we lose the game. Anyways, that's matchmaking in a nutshell, and I really enjoyed my time playing with Silver Threes. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this Mind of the Silver. If you guys like this format, let me know, and if you guys have suggestions or anything that you'd like me to do, please hit me in the comments below. Enjoy the rest of your week and your holiday, and I'll talk to you guys later.